Welcome to our proof using implicit differentiation that the derivative of e to the x with respect to x equals e to the x, which means f of x equals e to the x is its own derivative. So to begin, we'll let y equal e to the x, and therefore it follows by the definition of a logarithm that natural log y equals x. And let's take a closer look at this. If we start with the exponential equation e to the x equals y, By definition of a logarithm, the equivalent log equation will be log base e of y equals x. Remember, a logarithm is an exponent. Notice how the exponent here is x, and on the left we have the logarithm is equal to x. But we also know log base e is natural log, so we write natural log y equals x. So now using this equation, which is equivalent to y equals e to the x, we'll take the derivative of both sides with respect to x and find the derivative using implicit differentiation. So we'd have the derivative of natural log y with respect to x equals the derivative of x with respect to x. When we differentiate the left side with respect to x, because this term is in terms of y, we have to apply the chain rule, and therefore we'll have an extra factor of dy dx. So the derivative of natural log y with respect to x is equal to one over y times dy dx, and then we have equals, the derivative of x with respect to x is equal to one. And now we want to solve for dy dx, so we'll multiply both sides by y. So we have dy dx equals y, but remember y is equal to e to the x, and therefore we have our proof. The derivative of y with respect to x is equal to e to the x, and therefore it follows the derivative of e to the x with respect to x equals e to the x. I hope you found this helpful.